Tulsa police told us last night that this wasn't a random shooting. And today we've found out more details from witnesses and victims about what happened. Billy Bills turned himself into police the day after officers say he shot at four brothers who lived next door to his girlfriend near 27th and South Harvard. People in the neighborhood are in shock at the shooting. Pretty scary. I was like, what is happening? Um, it was it's tragic and sad. It's surprising, to say the least. But when I heard it, I thought, that's not firecrackers. <laughs> that, that's scary. 25-year-old Mackay Daniels died at the hospital. His three brothers are also injured. Police say they're expected to live, but one might be paralyzed. An affidavit says back on Tuesday, Bills got into an argument with one of the Daniels brothers. It says afterwards, messages were sent saying the fight wasn't over and Bills' girlfriend was mentioned. Bills' girlfriend told police that just before the shooting, she drove her car up to the house with Bills and another man in the back seat. She says that was in case something happened to her. She told police that when she got out of the car, one of the Daniel brothers hit her. She says she then fell to the ground and that's when she told police she heard gunshots. One of the Daniels brothers told police Bill shot at them, then went into a house and came back out with another gun and shot again. Captain Richard Muhlenberg from Tulsa Police. This was an absolutely tragic incident where people were arguing with one another that erupted into horrific gun violence and someone's lost their life because of it. Police say Bills is facing charges including first degree murder and three counts of shooting with intent to kill. Alex, this is a very egregious crime. Was Bills known to police before the shooting happened? Yes, I've been looking through court records and they show he was given a five year suspended sentence in May of last year for child abuse. A police report shows he punched a 10 year old in the face during a domestic dispute. He also has another previous felony conviction for possession of a controlled drug with intent to distribute. And records also show that Bills faced a shoot with intent to kill child charge back in 2019. Now that was dismissed because a prosecution witness failed to turn up. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.